at the conclusion of the last stream, I built me uh, my first little prop plane in this stream, and I have this contract to barnstorm the island airfield hangars, which are these two hangars here. And in case you're not quite sure what I mean, what you mean by barnstorming is you have to fly the plane through them without touching the ground. And I got to do the, both of them. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a risky maneuver and I'm choosing a prop plane because they have a lower airspeed than the jet planes do. So I'm hoping that this will make this not too terrible. Uh, regardless, I am going to quick save. In fact, I'm going to do quick save right now and, um, and give myself permission to try this at least a couple of times if things don't go astray uh, or if things go astray. And if it ends up taking me too many tries, I'll, I'll kind of bail. I don't want people watching me crash all day long, though. I don't know. Maybe some people would enjoy that. Now, it started me off over here, so I can see I got to do a little bit of taxiing. So I'm going to put on my SAS. I'm going to sh... There goes our... Start up our engines here. And then we're going to deploy those propellers. I want to actually throttle down a bit because I don't want to go too fast. And we'll head off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we'll head off to the end here. Give us a full amount of runway. Break here a bit. Don't drive off the side. Spin this around. Okay. And brakes. I think I'm lined up all right enough. So again, let's start these up. Brakes off. Deploy those propeller blades. We are all, we are not are we not moving as the brakes? Sorry, I just undeployed the propeller blades, and <laughs> now they're deployed. <laughs> yeah, we're picking up a little bit of speed. Come on, we're going to need more speed to get off this. And in case you didn't know, you can. I have not flown this. I did not fly this thing here. Let's get off the ground. Come on, off the ground, off the ground, off the ground, off the ground. There we go. Uh, gear up. Okay, I did not fly this thing here. You can launch from alternate launch sites and alternate runways. Uh, I believe you do have to get into the settings to uh, enable that. And then you can select from the space plane hangar or the VAB um, your desired launch location. All right, so let's see here. We got. I'm gonna try and go for that leftmost one. So let's give myself plenty of <laughs> run up here, and I will tell you right now, my piloting skills leave an awful lot to be desired. But I shall do my best. Okay, we're gonna throttle right down because I do not want to be going too fast. Of course, uh, I'm already nervous. I'm, it doesn't help that there's a freaking hill just on the other side there either. Okay, get down. Here we go. Go through, go through, go through. Up, 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 up. Ah! Jeepers! Okay, that's one. <laughs> oh my gosh. That hill makes this terrifying. I think I need to go just a smidge faster than that. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was the leftmost one, so. Quick save. <laughs> oh, I'm about, thinks I'm about to, okay, let me level off. Maybe then it'll let me quick save. Quick save. Yay, okay. So one done. One done. Halfway there. Oh my gosh, okay. Heart, heart, heart's coming back down to normal again. I'm going to get out here and again do myself. <laughs> I wish these engines made a little bit of a noise. They're like dead quiet. All I can hear is the wind. Yeah, going around. Oh, I do have lights on this thing. Why don't I light it up a bit? Not that you can really see it. You can see our pilot. I didn't introduce our pilot. Our pilot is Rob DV. Rob's done a lot of plane missions for us. Okay, let's throttle right down again. 
a little more this time. I want to go a little faster this time because um, I barely cleared that hill, I think. Oh my god, I'm not lined Okay, wait, I'm, I'm bailing on this one. I'm not lined up very well. Let's try that again. Still not clearing that hill by much. Should turn the other way, too. Sorry, sorry, at the bail, was not feeling comfortable on that pass. You think using the ivy, I'm, I'm seeing in the chat, using the ivy, like it from here, you think, I don't, I don't know, that scares the heck out of me. I'm not going to do it that way. Saw in the chat are recommendations about the ivy mode. I don't know if people are suggesting that or not, but I'm more comfortable out here. Third person. Okay, let's, let's see if we can do this a little better this time. And I think as well, bank left a little bit. I think it will help. Okay, slow down. Okay, let's try this. A little better. A little bit of a hill just before here too. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, down. Up, 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 no, 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 no! Okay, that's why we saved. Hit the hill, hit the hill. Okay. Okay. Let's try that again. Could, got through. I'm wondering, do you think it'd be easier from the, I don't think it'd be easier from the other side. It's that stupid hill that's right there. Okay, we'll try it a couple more times and then we'll get to our flybys. I don't want to spend too much time with this. Okay, up, there. up, up, up. Oh, I don't. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Nope. <laughs> oh, is Rob at least? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Either I do it this try, I did it once. Notice that I, I did it the first time when I wasn't expecting to do it, and now that I really want to do it, I'm, I'm, I'm messing it up. But we'll try one more time, and, and if it doesn't work this time, we're just going to land, and uh, I'll come back here and my own time and try again, because I don't want to keep subjugating people to endless and repetitive crashes. All right. Well, that one I wasn't very lined up very well, so I think that was sort of the problem on that one. Kind of came in sort of funny like. Jeepers, creepers, down, 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 up, 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 no, oh, no, come on, over the hill. No, okay. All right, 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 all right. It's that hill that makes this ridiculous. Okay. I gave it, gave it the college try. I will come back and do this on my own time because I don't want to have people... <laughs> don't want this stream being nothing but me crashing planes maybe some people would enjoy that but I wouldn't but what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna land here and uh, put it down on the island runway we'll recover and then I will do this on my own time I did it once so there was a proof of con uh, concept <laughs> It's a nice little plane though, I do like it. I don't know how practical plop, prop, plop, I said plop planes, prop planes are really. Because, um, I don't know how practical they are in the game. They're harder to build and they're much slower. Hopefully we can get this down here without too much adventures now. Come on. Okay, throttle up. We are going to run out of runway. Get down. Whoa, bouncy. Come on, brakes. 
Breaks, 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 breaks. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. You gave it a good try, Rob, but uh, I think what we'll do is we will recover this back. Dan says, more lifting spurs, uh, surfaces uh, to, to bring that stall speed down, which I think is probably a good idea, but we're good right now. Uh, I'll, I'll see how I go. I don't want to keep going with this. So what we want to do, we want to do a flyby of Eve, get a gravity assist of Eve, and then continue on our way to Moho. And I also want to do a Duna flyby. So what we're going to do, just to sort of set all that up for this stream and the next stream, bring out my Kerbal alarm clock, open up window transfer planner. We're going to use this to help us plop this out. So first of all, just for the Duna one, I'll do this one first because this one's sort of the bad news. <laughs> if I do the Duna one, and again, I'm not interested in an insertion. I'm just doing a flyby. So we'll start from an 80 kilometer orbit of Kerbin. We want to go to Duna. We want to do a flyby. So we'll get it to plot it. Here's the bad news. Uh, this ain't coming up for a long time. Uh, it is our departure time is year three, day 303. It is now year two, day 65. So uh, unfortunately, that's kind of what it is. You can see there is no, there are no attractive windows earlier. Like we get great, like this is in the 10,000 meters per second range if I wanted to leave during these suboptimal times. So I think we will wait for that. So I'm going to add that alarm to uh, alarm clock. That's for the future. What I want to do, though, is go from Kerbin to Eve to Moho. That's what I want to do today. Now, the, the cheapest way to do this, the cheapest way to do this is to go to your ideal, let's pick it here, Eve window, right? Let's plot that. And there's, oh, I got another Eve window coming up right really soon right there, too. Um, do this ideal window. Don't worry about Moho. Uh, then use Eve to get a gravity assist from, or use Eve to get a gravity assist to bring your periapsis of the resulting orbit down to Moho's orbit. So it's just touching Moho. The problem with that is you won't time it out, right? And then you're going to have to ride around in that resulting orbit around the sun until you can finagle yourself a Moho encounter. It works just fine. It's pretty cheap, but it's going to take a lot of time. So we're going to do this the quicker way, and I think maybe the dumber way. I'm going to start by um, looking at what is the window from Eve to Moho. Okay, so we're going to start looking for a window from Eve to Moho, like as if I'm leaving from Eve and I'm not. And you can see I sort of have two, and I'm going to put both of these on Kerbal Alarm Clock. There's this one right here, which is about 1,570, 1,550, oh, it probably says about 1,550 meters per second. But there's also a decent window in this vicinity, if you can see, that's a little bit more, but not crazy more. It might be worth taking advantage of. So I'm going to plot both of those. So let's um, bum, 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 add that alarm. And what I really want to pay attention to is what is our departure time from... Uh, Eve here. Departure time here is year two, day 315. Okay. Uh, now I want to plot this one. All I'm going to do is actually take maybe, um, I don't know, a couple of hundred days off of that, 250. Let's replot this. Okay. Now that's this one really cheap. It's not so bad. 1972. It has a departure time of uh, year two, day 167. So let's plot that or add that one to the alarm. I kind of really like this one. This one that's leaving um, Eve, year two, day 167. So now what I need to do, I got to kind of remember that number. Maybe I should actually even write it down. If you don't, give, <laughs> you probably hear my pen clicking. 160, 167. Okay, now let's look at Kerbin to Eve. So Kerbin to Eve and plot that one. So you can see here's our Kerbin to Eve uh, window. But what I really want to do is find something. Let's sort of click around here somewhere 
where my arrival time is around that same arrival time that I had before, which was, here, let me click. It was this first one. I didn't have to write it down. I can see it here. Arriving at year two, sorry, departing at year two, day 167. So this one is arriving at eight at Eve, year two, day 1639. That's no good. Let's see, is there something here? Oh, I might not be able, I can't get to Eve that quick. All right, so this one's a bust. <laughs> I can't get to Eve that quickly. Let's look at this other one. This one has an arrival time or departure at Eve. I need to get there on year two, day 315, okay? Open this up, and this anywhere around getting to Eve? Year 350 or year two day 358. Let's try and sort of see if I can. If I go down this way, we're shorter in the travel days. I want to get this in around 315. Here's another blue region. Remember the cooler colors. The cooler colors are here. I'm looking at this arrival time. I'm looking for something in a relatively cool color but in around arriving at around 315. That's not bad. Let's take off a lot of days here. Let's go between year two and today 350. This will allow us to zoom in this map again a little bit. Again, I'm looking for around year, staying in the cool colors. That's too long. I'll find it. 317 ah here we go so here i have a window that leaves kerbin on year two day 193 gets to eve on year two day 315 and will um and cost me 1755 meters per second in order to make that transfer so i'm thinking that is probably a good window for me I'm realizing what also I should do is take off this flyby option. You'll see why in a second. Let's put in 100 here. I'm going to replot this just one more time. All right. Again, I got to relook for that. 315. One more cooler. There we go. 315. The reason why I wanted to look at is this insertion burn. This insertion burn, I'm not going to perform because I want to fly by Eve of 1,578 meters per second, but it does give us an indication of what our velocity is going to be like as we go by Eve. And if I take a look at my Eve to Moho, notice that the transfer ejection is 1,550 meters per second. In other words, these two are very close to being the same. Our ejection from Eve to Moho is very close to our insertion at Eve, which means we will be having enough velocity to carry ourselves to Moho. What we need to do is redirect that velocity so that we'll hit Moho. I'm hoping that kind of makes some sense. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plot this. Okay. Oh, I already pl oh, shoot. I didn't mean to plot it. My mistake. I'm sorry. Get it back. <laughs> Get back here, 315, I don't know why, there we go. I'm going to put this alarm, and I need to remember this, this 1,700, I'm gonna call it 1,780, and I'm gonna write that number down too. Guess I could always look at it too. So now what we got is, hopefully, and I did this once before and it worked great, so, <laughs> is I have a transfer from Kerbin to Eve coming up, uh, not that long, in about 131 days, and then the arrival time for this transfer should coincide with the departure time of this Eve to Moho one. So we should be able to do this all in one go. It isn't the cheapest way to do it, but it probably is going to be the fastest way. Okay, enough, enough, enough rambling. Let's do this thing.